Why, hello. Isn't it a very hot day? So it is evening on Friday on Granny's Animal Festival. Now we have had a lot of technical issues today. And I had to start and cancel many streams and it was really frustrating. So what I've decided is I'm going to do a one hour um, recording and I'll put it up on YouTube and it will be great. Of course, we have to get started. Oh, here we are. Now I'm wearing, oh no, hot. I'm wearing the flower bubble things that you will get on Sunday. because I went forward to Sunday just to take some pictures because this Sunday I'm probably not going to be able to to go online at night during the fireworks and I love the fireworks don't you love the fireworks oh, my pockets are full I need to go in and do something about that so this is granny's animal crossing we stream twice a week Wednesdays is a dream stream Oh no, I've got cockroaches. Again, that's because I went into the future. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with some of the stuff. Let's put stuff in storage. Oh, I gotta learn this. That's when you travel in time, you have to, every time you have learned things in your pockets, you have to relearn them and relearn them and relearn them. Which is kind of odd, isn't it? So I'm going to put all my fencing in storage because I'm done constructing for now. Although I have a big project planned. And I will take you over and show it to you. It's quite exciting. But for now, we're just going to put stuff in storage. And then we're going to hang out on the island and I'm going to share with you a couple of fun things. A broom and dustpan. All right, what kind of friend gives you cleaning equipment? And a cucumber horse. Oh, now my storage is full. What's with that? Oh, it's probably mostly clothes. I think we, we need to get rid of clothes. Well, I mean, we, we have all these clocks. I'm never, probably never gonna use that clock, but you know, never say never, right? What if I need a, a, a doing a diner thing? No, I'm never gonna use that clock. And what is this, throwback wall clock? Oh, this is the one with the robot on it. No, so we can, I'm not fussy on heart door plates. So what am I gonna do with these? Oh, and look, an intercom monitor. I'm gonna give these to my neighbors. What do you think of that? And look at the broom and dust pans. All right, let's go find some neighbors and give stuff away. So yeah, um, basically my internet's not working here. I'm looking after kitty cats and um, I'll be home next week. So streaming will be fine next week. Um, it's a beautiful time of day. Look at that, it's a gorgeous sunset. So let's go look at my most recent build. It's um, a really exciting area and I think you're gonna love it. Oh, there's another one of these. How many of these am I gonna get in a day? I've done three already. Do I still have money? I do still have money. So I'm gonna stop talking while I do this because whenever I talk and do this, I end up messing it up. Okay, so let's put that away. Let's put that away and let's bury that in the hole. Now I have a, a little tiny tree getting ready to grow and give me all sorts of money. Okay, so let's go look at the new build. Oh dear, there's something messy here. I don't want that. I took out a palm tree. <laughs> And you know, you can plant palm trees wherever you want, but you have to put down a little bit of sand for them. 
So here's part of the new build. Now these are cliffside houses. And when you build on the waterfront in um, Western Canada, you build, sometimes you build on these cliffside houses and then you have a beautiful view of the waterfront. And here's the Vizzles Pottery Studio. <laughs> Isn't it cute? So I'm looking for some clay items to put on this pottery shelf. What I'd really like is to be able to have like a whole shelf. Or one time I saw, I saw a log shelf. No. Let's go here. And ooh, and look at log things. Do I have any log shelves? I do not. So. I have seen in someone else's island a cool log shelf and it looked like they were able to put different things on their log shelf. So that would be cool and then you could use it for a pottery thing. This is the new train station. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, no. So sometimes if you've got your camera on, you can press this our button and you'll look at oh, oh no you'll look up which is a great way to take a picture this is a nice time of day to take a picture isn't it it's so um it's like the golden hour that's what it is it's the golden hour i love the golden hour so then you do that and then you do that or maybe we'll get We'll get her to do something else, like a delight. Uh-oh. Or greetings. <laughs> Anyways, it's a nice little build up here. This is our train station. And I'm really happy with everything. So all I need to do up here is to finish Evisel's pottery thing. And then I'm just going to leave this area. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm... Look, I have two monitors, so that one works. This one doesn't, but that webcam doesn't work. This one does. So if I look at this monitor, because then I'm looking at you. But the game doesn't work properly. There's a delay here or something. All right, so what is this ugly place? Down here ugly 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 place this entire area is going to be a grotto it's going to be all stone and there's going to be water and moss and stone and lots of wild animals it's going to be a animal reserve and i am going to block it once we're done it's going to be beautiful. So I am right now, you know, checking out other what other people have done with grottos. And, and you can find a lot just by typing keywords into uh, YouTube. So I type in grotto and then I find everybody's ideas on a grotto. Definitely going to need to use some custom designs. And that's going to be tough because almost every design here is being used. But some of this bamboo stuff I can replace now because I have I have a bamboo rug. So I could go in and replace that bamboo, those bamboo tiles. And then I'd have one place for a bit of water. But most water comes with I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles. So you get all the edges. And I really do not have nine tiles available here. This one's not being used, shutters. This one I've been using on the top of um, loft beds. I could have maybe used something else the crocheted blanket like there's it's right there underneath that little mum stuffy I guess I could get rid of it oh no 
And then what's in its place? Nothing. Poor. Poor stuffy. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Put that back, please. I gotta go find some friends and give away gifts. Tire toy. Put that back. And then. I wanna put down Mum's fleshy. There we go. Oh, yes, there he is. Oh, and you see the tents on the wood. There we go. Let's go find some friends and give away some of our many gifts. And, you know, I used to gift my neighbors all the time, but then they started getting rude, you know? Like, okay, this isn't really my style, but thank you anyways. And all they ever gave me back in return was clothes. I have, like, of all the gifts I've given, I think I've gotten maybe five items. Okay, so Maggie, what are we gonna give Maggie? No. She's probably not gonna like this. Oh, maybe she likes it. She's gonna use it as an accent. And look. She didn't give me anything back. Nothing. Now I know you don't gift to get. Not in real life, but on Animal Crossing you do. You gift to get. All right, where is everybody? Oh. I love Ozzy. You want this? All right, should we give Ozzy a clock? I don't want to give Ozzy a heart door plate because they'll put it on their, they'll put it on their door. And I've got everybody with these really cool shell door plates right now. All right, so, oh no, so they've seen it before. Apparently they gave it to me, but who remembers? And I got a cave, man. Thank you, Ozzy. I've always wanted a caveman tank. Is it like made out of fur? Should we try it on? Should we try our caveman tank on? I think we should. Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> I'm gonna wear that for a while. I have a caveman tank on. It's like, it's like a Flintstones dress. Alrighty, what else? Okay, so um, I think we'll sell the rest of this stuff because our neighbors are not being nice. So what I used to do when I first started playing is I would buy wrapping paper and I would wrap up fruit. And that's a worthy thing to do. They love you. They love getting gifts and they love it when they're wrapped. But let's just sell off some of the stuff we don't want. I think I'm going to sell the heart door plates. I certainly don't want anybody... ...putting it on their door. Oh, if you sell grass, you can get nut miles. I actually need nut miles. I'm gonna get a lot of money for this, but I might get some no no. Oh, look, you can see how hot I am. So hot here. And there's fires. I live in Vancouver. We're in British Columbia, Canada. British Columbia is on fire and it is so hot. There's wildfires all across the interior, not near me, but my sky is full of smoke. The, you know, the there's an index of pollution and 
our pollution is 10 plus. Which basically means stay inside. Tomorrow it's going to be 4, apparently. So I am staying inside tonight. It is very hot. I am away from home. I was going to go out and uh, spend time with friends that live in this part of the city. But um, I just decided to stay home. And, you know, we'll do our Animal Crossing. And hang out together. Right? So what would you like to do? Okay, so we already gave her something, right? You know, there's always someone DIYing. Always. And I know it's not tank today, and I haven't seen Hazel. So I'm going to go see if it's Hazel. I'm in the store. What am I doing? That's not Hazel's house. Uh, let's get out. Okay. Bye. Do you like my Flintstone dress? I do not like your Flintstone dress. Oh, Hazel's dark. Okay, so she's not doing the DIY. Oh, Addie. Oh, no. Do I want her to move? Not really. I don't. I want the muscle builders to move. And, and I think Tank could move. And so I'm trying not to talk to Tank. How do you get your neighbors to move if you want them to? Well, here's the way you do it. You build a wall around their house. I'm not going to do it that way because Tank's house is a plays an important role on our little seaside town. But you could do it if you wanted. Oh, Clay, I would I would build a wall around Clay's house. And I shouldn't have talked to them. All right. So this is like I think this villager's name is Cat or something like that. We'll find out. We could give Kiki some cake. And then it'll always be on one of these tables. That would be kind of cool. She likes it. No, she didn't like it. She didn't give me anything back. So I've gifted three villagers now and I've only gotten one gift and it's a Flintstone dress. I shouldn't have talked to Clay. Don't talk to Clay anymore. Okay, so today is August 13th and I'm gonna keep that in my mind that that was the last time I talked to Clay. And I'm gonna go three weeks without talking to Clay. This is where my pirate ship's gonna go. Look at it, it's all covered in weeds. It's because I was traveling in time today. I was doing all sorts of time traveling. I time traveled to Sunday at night so I could see fireworks and do a bunch of photographing. It's so fun. When you photograph during the fireworks, everything lights up in a really cool way. Um, and then what do I do with my photographs? I post them on Instagram. Oh, what's in here? Oh, yeah. All right, so we have a cucumber. Let's put it here. Where shall we put it? Let's put it here. <laughs> Where are people supposed to put their cucumbers? 
have no idea what to do over the cucumber. Maybe if we could, like, have put things on shelves, but we can't. All right, so this is one of the reasons I went forward in time. What is it, you ask? Well, it's a little demonstration on how to stunt your tree growth. Isn't that cute? So if you let them grow, you plant them with space first. You don't put those little ones in and you let them grow two days and then you put the little, little ones in. It will always be like that. They will never grow. None of them will grow. Now I'm probably not gonna leave that here, but you can see that that would make a really neat screen, wouldn't it? Like between, maybe between two parts of your island, like a, like a, you know, I'm always looking for, what do you call it? Um, transition. I'm always looking for transition techniques and that is a great transition. I think it would probably look better along here because I've just got flowers because every time I put trees it blocked this nice little campsite but if I put a little tree transition in here it wouldn't block the site of the campsite and that would look really good I think that would look really good um, another place would be along the edge of this farm I could make like three two little trees like I could maybe let it just grow one day and then stunt it and they would be really tiny trees right there or at the top of this farm although there's not a lot of room up there another place might be here when I finish building this area oh what a beautiful night what a beautiful night let's um Take those off. And I'm going to eat mop candy. I don't know how to eat candy. And you can only eat it twice. What if I go like this? I go. Oh, one. Okay, note to self, pressing A makes you take bites out of it and you only have three bites. And that's it. You only have three bites. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Here's the vizzles. A little, oh it looks cool in here, doesn't it? got a nice fan going. I got a bit of a fan going too, actually. It looks really nice. So that's all we've got planned for today. I think um, we're going to cut this recording short because of all the issues I had with streaming today. But I do like to put up a little recording